Hi, so uh, following my last video I've had a few requests on how to record the audio from your V-drums into Logic. Just, your stat, just the audio that comes out of the drums. So we're not going to be looking at MIDI, just how you get the audio sounds that are in your Roland V-drums and how we can put them into Logic. So there are a few sacrifices to this. You're only going to be able to record one track as a whole. You're not going to have an individual track for each drum. So, let's get started. Okay, then the first thing you're going to need is a conversion lead. So you're going to need one of these bad boys that I bought um, again off Amazon. So what you'll notice is you've got your headphone jack here. And that goes all the way through to a quarter inch jack like you've got on your guitar. So you're going to need a lead like that to do anything at all. So that's one thing you're going to need. Next thing you're going to need is an audio interface. So something like this, I've got, this is my old Focusrite one. Brilliant piece of equipment. Obviously you can use your own, doesn't have to be Focusrite. I'm using something different now. Um, yeah, so as long as it's got an input for your quarter inch jack. Okay, so we are now looking at the Roland V-drums from the side. Um, so we've got our inputs, so this is my normal headphone lead, so you're going to want to take that out. I tend to use, if you can see, I've got a right angle converter, it's just so nothing's sticking out when I'm playing. I don't want to end up hitting it and then uh, ripping it off. So uh, you can buy them off Amazon as well. Um, so very useful, so I'm going to be using that today as well. So I'm going to take that off my headphones, and I'm going to plug in the headphone jack side of the conversion lead so, uh, click that in, there we go and then put it back into the uh, output so the output it says output slash phones on it so that's where you need to place it so put that in there and then after that you want to take the other end so get your there we go, your quarter inch jack side and on your audio interface plug it into your first channel or your second, it's up to you and then I'd make sure your volume's turned down to begin with don't want it blowing any, um, we don't want any speakers being blown right so once that's done make sure your USB interface is plugged into your computer okay so we've got Logic open and first thing we need to do is create an audio track because that's what we're going to be recording today so we're not going near software instruments or MIDI we don't want them so audio and create right once you've got your audio track you will need to select your input if you haven't already done so some um, interfaces will do that automatically but if you haven't you need to go um, you click on the eye go to your channel click on input and click on the input that you've uh, plugged your V drums into. So mine's input one. So that is now done. The next thing I'm going to do is turn on the V drums. So you saw there when I turned it on, you got a little click. Right. Um, so all you need to do now is, when you're ready, click record. I'll turn the click off click record and then get playing your drums so let's see how this sounds so you can see that coming coming through nice and um, clearly oh don't like that setting so you can see it appearing on logic right so you'll get you can see it's distorting a little bit so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn the volume down on the V-drums and on my interface. So if I turn that down, that should fix the problem. There we go.
Okay guys, I hope you found that video useful. So um, if it was, please give it a like. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Cheers.